First, let's go over some background. We've been cutting Longworth chucks for about 10 months, 95 through Etsy, and have cut five or six locally for friends. When I started cutting them, I was very conservative. I cut at 125 inches per minute, 1 8 inch depth of cut, and very, very conservative. Using a quarter inch down cut spiral running at 18,000 RPM. Well, I've slowly crept that speed or feed rate up to 250 inches per minute and 200 thousandths depth of cut. Everything else is the same. So the other day I was going to cut a 16 inch chuck and realized that it was still at 200 inches per minute and I was going to change it. So I highlighted the 200, I thought, and typed in 250, changed the ramp speed to 250, and hit OK. Generated the G-code, went out in the shop to cut, and when the ramp finished, all of a sudden it sped up to 600 inches per minute, which is the max I have my stepper set. Needless to say, I was a bit shocked. So after the cut finished, I came in to check what I had done and realized that I had not typed over the 200. I had only highlighted the two. So when I typed 250, now I had 25,000 inches per minute. Fortunately, 600 IPM is the max my machine is set for and it cut that perfectly, actually. I was surprised that it cut so well and so cleanly and didn't seem to mind it at all. I did. It was a little unnerving, but that's the background and that's what happened. That's why you'll see the machine speed up so much when the ramp finishes. The ramp is at two degrees so it's a pretty long taper. And when it finishes, the 600 picks up immediately. You'll see that on the rough cut, I'm leaving tabs. And then I come back with a conventional cut that cuts those tabs away and takes off the last five thousandths of an inch. With the screw in the center, I don't need the tabs, but I leave them in there for the rough cut just because I don't want the disc trying to spin. And I figure on the final cut, just taking five thousandths of an inch, that that center screw is going to hold it down just fine.